What's up everyone, uh, Dylan Williamson here again. Um, I just want to say thanks for all the listeners and subscribers. Um, I hope that you're getting value added to your life by listening to this. Um, so, I just want to say um, how I became self-reliant. Um, so, I grew up and... Uh, as I was growing up, my uh, my mom developed schizophrenia, and my dad uh, kind of quit caring about our home life. So it was me and my brother at home, and I pretty much was the influence to him, and had to keep myself a good role model so I could so he could role, be a good person as well. Um, so like. So how to be a good role model, how to become self-reliant, um, <clears throat> make a lot of mistakes, make a lot of mistakes and then figure out reasons on how to fix those mistakes. Um, you know, don't throw a temper tantrum when um, something goes wrong. Sit back and think about the decisions and actions that you took to make that thing go wrong and then change the course of action for the next day. Um, so when we act out of anger or when we don't get what we want and we throw a fit, we're being babies. So quit acting like a baby. Um, quit complaining every day. There's a difference between complaining and venting. Um, venting is like when you have a problem that's not an everyday occurrence and it's really stressful and you just need to get it out and it stays out. Complaining is every day having the same issue, never changing it, but just keep going. That's a complaint and no one likes a complainer. Um, it's a negative energy. It brings people down. People don't want to be around it. Um, when I hear a complainer, it gives me a headache. Um, so, just, just how how I really became self reliant was I made a lot of mistakes and I learned as I go. Um, so I used to go to the go to work and I, there were some jobs I really liked and at those jobs I'd be on time. And at jobs I didn't like, I would be late because I didn't really want to work there. I mean, that right there is the action in itself. Like, do what you want, not what you think you want. Like, do what you need to do on the inside, internally. internally. That way, when you do go to the job that you are trying to pursue, you can pull full force. Like, for me right now, um, I became extremely self-reliant by being an Uber driver, a driver. Um, you know, I'm setting my own wake-up times, I'm setting my own workout times, and I'm setting my own work, work day. You know, um, it's pretty difficult to have so much time management, but as these three months have progressed, three or four months have progressed, I've gotten better at it. Um, so I was making 500 bucks a week originally with Uber. Now, then it went to 750, then it was going to 800, 900, and now I'm pushing to $2,000 a week. Um, it's really becomes to how much discipline you have, how, how bad you want it and want to become self-reliant. Um, another thing that's helped me become self-reliant is other people, no, no issues with other people, but they have their own lives, you know? They can't just come to you for your problems when they have their own problems. There's a time when you can trauma bond and grieve together, but at other times, they have their own stuff to deal with, and it's not a negative thing that they have their own lives. You know, when we, when we die, we're not all going to die at the same time. Um, so really, 
it's it's not uh, about you. It's it's not about them. It's really just about life, right? It's not it's not like they're intentionally avoiding you. It's just they have their own goals, their own life that they want to live. And you have your own goals and your own life. You're not always going to be available for people. You know, so becoming an Uber driver, I'm getting my time back. By that, I mean, um, there was a birthday dinner at 6 p.m. And I used to work second shift. So if I was still working that second shift, I wouldn't have been able to go to the birthday dinner. But guess what? As an Uber driver, I can take the, I can log off the app and I can go to that dinner and then I can log back on, you know. Um, you just have to learn how to be present in the moment and appreciate the moment with the time that you have with the people. Um, that's what I really meant in the other video about uh, part of me died when my brother died because I was so focused on work and my career that I wasn't focusing on the people around me. Um, so now a new part of me has came out to help motivate people and help people because that's really what I want to do and in order to help people I have to help myself so in order to help myself I have to become reliant and then teach other people how to become reliant um, the best learners are teachers because every day you learn to teach better um, stay hard